If you have ever attended one of my seminars, you've heard me say that I believe you have the potential with God of reaching higher than you now believe you can reach. Reaching those goals, going after your dreams, and becoming more than you are right now. With God, you can do just that. But most people on planet Earth do the opposite. They aim low. And I've been told in counseling sessions before, they defend that. They aim low because, after all, they would never want to disappoint themselves. Well, if you have a whole life that's disappointing, if you whole, have a whole life where the, the whole ability of the human being hasn't come out, you know, if you go to Italy and see the statues of Michelangelo, you'd be amazed. But also you'd be amazed at the number of statues these are into the 60 or 70 that, that might have a piece of marble with a hand partially coming out, a leg partially coming out of another, undeveloped, uncompleted works. That's the way most of us are. We're not yet complete. And when we aim low in life, well, we just say, well, I've got to, I've got to stay where I am. I wouldn't dare try to go up higher. It has been said, whoever seeks earth before he seeks heaven will surely lose both earth and heaven. In Colossians 3, verse 2, it says, Set your minds on what is above, not on what is on the earth. This is talking about your consciousness, about aiming high in life. And you can surely do that if you surely know that God is with you, that God is your help in every need, that God will give you ideas. God will inspire you. If you want to keep a hopeful spirit and a peaceful soul, you must distance yourself at least a little bit from the temptations and the distractions all around you. And when you do, you realize that when you distance yourself, it's not always easy. You know, Jesus said, don't look to appearances. Well, that is not always easy, especially when those forces around you are, are struggling to get your attention, your participation, and even your money. C.S. Lewis once said, aim at heaven, and you will get earth thrown in. But if you aim at earth, you will get neither. Well, that is a wise reminder. It's been said by so many different sages in so many different ways throughout the centuries. You'll likely hit what you aim at. And so, my friend, I urge you today to aim high. To aim at heaven. And when you do, you're going to be strengthening your character and you will improve over time every aspect of your life. And God will demonstrate God's approval as God showers you with more spiritual blessings than you can now count. God bless you. Aim high.